Hello everybody, I'm back to finally review a book for you. I was supposed to review this book uh, a few days ago, but with Christmas going on, I just, I, I, I made the stupid decision to want to review it on Christmas Eve, and that did not happen, so I apologize for that. And I'm sorry I haven't reviewed anything for so, so long. I've just been, I've been busy with school really lately, um, and I've only read one book in the past like three months, so yeah, I, I need to... Um, get reading more, I guess. I can't, I can't now since I'm on break, but I'm going to start college again in, in the in spring, so I don't know how many books I'll be able to read for you all, but I'll try to review something as often as I can. So anyway, this review is going to be on a book I just finished um, a few days ago, and it's one of my new favorite books of this year, and that is Tilt by Helen, Ellen Hopkins. And um, if you don't know, um, Ellen Hopkins is one of my favorite authors of all time. I love her to death. Uh, she writes her books in prose, which is um, basically like this. It looks like this. It's um, it's not poetry, but it's in that form, poetry form. Um, and this is her newest book. It's the uh, companion novel to her adult book, Triangles, which is about uh, three women or three families that kind of go through a lot of fallouts in their lives, um, in their marriages, anyway. And um, this is about their kids. So the three kids that you get to meet in this book that are told through their perspectives are Michaela, Shane, and Harley. Um, Michaela, I believe she's either 16 or 17, uh, she falls in love with this boy named Dylan. Um, and I'm not sure how much I want to tell you about the story, actually, because I don't know what's a spoiler and what's not. Her books are hard to spoil, I guess, because the, the message is what is, is like the point of the book. So the plot doesn't really matter, I guess. So I guess I could tell you what happens, kind of. Um, her, well, Michaela falls in love with Dylan, and um, Dylan kind of convinces her to have unprotected sex. And so when they're ready to have sex, they don't wear a piece of condom. And because of that, um, Michaela um, ends up getting pregnant. And that's kind of her struggle in the book, um, and what how Dylan deals with that news, and, um, it's, oh, I hate Dylan so much, and I hate that he has the same name as me, honestly, because, I mean, I know it doesn't matter, because, obviously, you know, there's millions of villains in the world, and they're all different, so, but still, it's just like, ugh, oh, finally an Ellen Hopkins character that has my name, and it's just, he's, he's a dick, I hate him so much. Um, and then the next story, um, I believe Harley's next, actually. I'm not 100% certain now. Maybe it was Shane. Was it Shane? I don't know. I'm, I'm so prepared for this review, aren't I? I'm so freaking prepared. You have no idea. Alright, Shane's next. Shane is, um, I believe he's also 16, maybe? I, yeah, he's 16. And he just came out to his parents. He's gay. And, um, he's kind of struggling with that fact. He really wants to... Um, be himself around people, and uh, he really wants to get a boyfriend, obviously. Um, and so he goes online and meets this guy named Alex, and Alex is wonderful. I love Alex so much. I Oh, so, so beautiful. I love him. I love those two characters. They're my favorite characters in the book. Um, I can really, really relate to Shane a lot. Like, seriously, more than any other character in any Helen Hopkins book ever. I relate to Shane so much, and he was just wonderful. He's a great protagonist. Um, and I love Alex. He was so sweet and so wonderful. And um, the main, well, it's not really even the main plot of the story, but Alex has HIV. And so that's one of their kind of like their struggles as a, as a couple, I guess. And, but it's not even the main struggle of their story. But um, it's just something that was um, added in there that really means a lot, and I'm glad that Ellen Hopkins put it in there, because HIV is a really, really serious thing, and it's, it's something that more teens should know about. Not just gay teens, but all teens in general. So it's like, I just really, really appreciate that theme, um, Ellen, and so thank you for that, and thank you for the story between with, with Shane. I love Shane and Alex so much, and I love that storyline so much. That was why I was reading this book, to be honest, because I, I kept reading because of their story, to be honest. Not that I didn't like Michaela or Harley, the other character who I'll talk about in a minute, but I relate to them a lot more than the other two characters. Um, so anyway, Harley. 
Harley is 13 in this book. She is the youngest protagonist that, or perspective, that um, Ellen has ever written about. Um, and I totally forgot to talk about Shelby, which is um, uh, Shane's little sister. Shelby has a uh, sort of cancer, I think. I don't know exactly. It's a, it's a terminal illness. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Um, anyway, so Harley. Um, I love Shelby, too. She was so adorable. Anyway, uh, Harley is 13, and um, her parents are falling apart. I think all of their parents are kind of falling apart, uh, to be honest. And um, her parents are divorced, and she, her dad is getting remarried. And um, she meets this guy who is um, her son, the girl that's being remarried to her father, her son. So he, she starts having feelings for him, and along with this, she is doing very, very stupid things, and she's being very, very self-destructive. Um, she used to be overweight, and now she's starting to lose a lot of weight, and um, beca because she wants to be pretty. But that, that's a really, really dumb reason to want to lose weight, in my opinion. So I understand that Harley was 13, and she is obviously naive and very very dumb and you know teens are dumb but not all of them but they uh, they make stupid decisions they're naive i i admit it i do the same thing but i really wanted to like harley but i couldn't i just couldn't she made such dumb mistakes and the point of her story is so that you won't make the same mistakes i get that i totally get that and i appreciate that ellen did that but i wanted to like her and i guess characters don't need to be likable i guess but it's just, it bugged me. It just bugged me. And another thing that bugged me about this book, now that I'm talking about things that I didn't like because I liked most of it, I love this book to death. But one thing I didn't like is the ending. Now, the ending wasn't bad, but it like, it just, it just stopped. It just stopped. It, it was like, a, it wasn't an ending. And I get the point of that because the point of her stories are to teach you something. They're not the story themselves. So it was like the story didn't conclude, but the moral and themes concluded, if that makes sense. So in a way, it did end, but I just kind of wanted a little more closure, I guess. But other than that, this book was beautiful. Uh, beautiful writing. I love the themes in it. I love the characters. Well, at least Shane and Alex, to be honest. Shane and Alex and Michaela were my three favorite characters. Um, everyone else was just kind of, meh. and Shelby, Shelby too, I love Shelby, I love Shelby a lot, she was just great, um, so, I do really, really love this book, I highly recommend it, especially if you love Ellen Hopkins, um, you can read Triangles, um, I'm not sure if you want to read Triangles first or not, I read this first, so, I don't know if it matters, but I'm definitely going to read Triangles next, um, soon, because I want to know what the parents were kind of thinking about, you know, during this time, so, uh, anyway, that was my review of Tilt. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. I hope, you know, I didn't spoil anything. I hope I didn't spoil anything. I probably, maybe I did. But um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I haven't been around for so long. Um, I'll try to do another review soon. As long as I, as soon as, as, soon as I finish another book, um, I'm going to review it on here probably, hopefully. Um, we'll see what happens anyway. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all enjoyed this review. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, by the way. Uh, it was so fun. I got a tablet, and I'm happy, and now I can draw on the computer, and it's awesome. So, anywho, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas, Merry Belated Christmas. Hope you had a lot of fun, and I shall see you guys next time.